I'm here with Jim Densler, and Jim is what we like to call a Renaissance man. He's one of our very few. Look at the look on his face. He's also a bit of a comedian. He's highly witty. Uh, he writes. He's written this book. He's written a few books. Architect, artist, just an all-around Renaissance man, but he doesn't look that old. He wasn't born that long yeah, ago. I, I think the word Renaissance means old. That's. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Well, actually, he's going to be doing most of the ch chatting today. And what is our topic? Um, I guess the general topic is how to have a better attitude in this tough time that we're going through. Um, like I said before, everybody is uh, is getting frantic and, and they're upset. They're anxious. Um, some people are getting depressed over this. Uh, it's times like these that we're put to our, our to test our the best of us. And um, we need to stop and think and use our skills of imagination and so on to, uh, to get ourselves through this, which we will. Um, and we have to dwell on the upside and, uh, like I say, use the skills that we have uh, to get us through this. So we have a book sitting here between us, and uh, this is a book you've written. Yes. It's, uh, it's called, Do I Want to Feel This Way? And it's a toolbox of skills for managing uh, bad feelings. And uh, it's being published at this point uh, through a company called thebookpatch.com. Uh, and uh, eventually it will be, and I'm working on it, my famous phrase, uh, eventually it will be on the Amazon platform in two forms. Uh, as an ebook, the full book, and the first seven skills um, uh, will also be up there as, a, as an ebook download. Well, let's talk about um, not necessarily the seven skills, but he was great um, when I asked him to do this. We kind of changed things around. We were going to talk about architecture before we had to um, change locations and stay at distancing. I'm, I'm working on that. Too. She's working on that. Um, <laughs> And that'll happen after we reopen the doors of the of um, the art center, the center for the arts, and we have coffee and combos every almost every Friday at noon, from noon to 1:30, uh, with a different topic every week, something creative, something inspiring. So Jim and I talked, and we switched focus for what is happening right now, uh, because his book really is very beneficial with tips and tools. Yeah, right now, this is more important than architecture, I think. Although yes. Although the architects won't, uh, won't agree with that. Right. This is timely and important because there's a lot of anxiety out there. So I'm just pretty much going to let you tell us what to do or give us suggestions. All right. Uh, I have some notes here, and I'm not, I'm not used to being, quote, interviewed. Um, but I want to say that, that uh, Everybody gets into a routine, and uh, researchers claim that between 90 and 95 percent, some say more, some say less, that we get into this routine, and this percentage of actions, reactions, thoughts, the things we do itself from week to week is pretty much the same. Um, we get into this routine, and we, we do our, uh, raise our children, and and uh, do our jobs and uh, do our shopping and all these things that they become so routine uh, that they actually get to the point of being bored and I think a lot of people that's why a lot of people get into uh, uh, drugs is because they're bored um, and the problem is is that you, you get into this routine and um, I, I lost my train of thought but we're going to edit this out anyway <laughs> I'm not used to being interviewed. I, I like to be fun. Well, we get into a routine, and then when you when you interrupt and totally throw our routine off, well, that's that's what's we happening. We lose a is, sense is of is security. Everything from going places to uh, seeing the children a certain number of hours a day or a week, whatever. Um, that is everything is thrown out of whack. Attitude is is uh, is, is the big thing, and my first seven skills. Uh, the presentation in the book is to take the first seven skills which are to help you feel good so that you can deal with uh, your depression or your anxiety or your loneliness or sadness and so on. Um, the first seven skills, and I have to list them because uh, 
actually with all 38 of them. Uh, the first one is whenever you're feeling bad or afraid or lonely or sad, you have to dwell on the question, do I want to feel this way? Mm -hmm. And most people say, well, no, of course I don't want to feel this way. But you stop and you think about that. Do I want to feel this way? And when you can say to yourself simply and honestly, no, I don't, you, you've started. Mm -hmm. So you, you, from that, you get yourself a good glass of water, you, you do some proper breathing, and that's your first skill. And you keep doing that. The second thing is a hug. Anyone that you can hug, anyone that's special to you. It could be your, if you have an offspring, <clears throat> have a child, or you have a spouse. If you have a pet, you stroke the pet for a good minute. And what does that do? <clears throat> Excuse me, it makes you feel better. It makes the animal feel better. It, 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 it improves the connection. Hugging a pillow, if, if, it, if it works, if it does get you to focus your attention on that action of hugging, um, and imagination. Uh, everyone remembers petting a dog or a cat or, or hugging someone. Um, and, and that connection is what's important. So you use your imagination to remember the, the action and that, that translates into feeling good. Uh, then you go on to the next item, which is humor. Um, uh, research has shown that even, even when a person smiles or laughs, they're, they're, they're stretching the, the facial muscles into a smile, uh, releases uh, endorphins, what I call biochems. Mm -hmm. There you go. And, and um, uh, if you can actually laugh, the, the breathing, uh, you're, you're increasing the oxygen intake. So that's why humor is so important. And there's a, a list of a few things in there. Like uh, one of the famous ones is the dentist scene uh, of Harvey Corman and uh, Tim Conway. So I don't think anybody can watch that after all these times I've watched it and not and not laugh actually laugh you don't want to just sit there and smile you want something that will make you laugh exactly it's got to really come from the inside out You're, you yes. end up taking deep breaths um, I'm certified as a laughter <coughs> yoga instructor um, and I know that sounds like a strange thing but if you google it you'll you can get online and you can get into YouTube and Take a look at Robert Rivas. And, it, and it's also on it's also distracting. It, 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 it's also distracting, and not just the, the physical part and so on, and releasing biochems, but it, it uh, it's a distraction. That if you can do enough, it's not escapism. It, it's taking a break mm -hmm. uh, from the things that are bothering you. The uh, fourth thing is music. Uh, you can listen to. Uh, uh, and any upbeat music. I'm pointing at Deb. Um, we are filming at Deb's place. Her beautiful garden from last week is right behind us. And uh, she's the flutist, flautist, the Native American flautist. Uh, but like I was saying, the, the uh, uh, upbeat music of Michael Jackson's uh, Beat It or uh, Eric Clapton's Lay Down Sally, uh, Peaches and Herb, Shake Your Groove thing. These are things that most people uh, almost can't resist getting up and, and getting into it. Same thing, it releases biochems, it gets you to use your muscles if you do get into it, and, and uh, you're distracting yourself from the pressure that you're under temporarily. Uh, the the uh, fifth thing is gratitude. Um, uh, we get so bogged down with what we don't have or what we may not wind up having that we, uh, you, you step back and say, okay, what are the things that I do have? You do have running water. You do have uh, the love of family or, and, or the love of friends. You do have uh, uh, loving pets. Um, you do have a beautiful day like this. Um, during this, uh, this so-called crisis, um, I take the, uh, my two cats and we, we get out in the front yard. Do you have a leash? No. Uh, and they're, they're, they're house cats, so they've been getting out and they're very wary and they've been sticking close to me. They're older, uh, so I don't think they have the, the need to, uh, to uh, explore uh, like kittens would. But, they, but we sit in the sunshine and uh, I read and they do their thing and um, uh, I'm, I'm grateful for having them. I'm grateful for having the sunlight. Uh, uh, you can be there's so many things to be grateful for if you just stop and think about it. Then the the seventh thing is accomplishments. 
Uh, a lot of people say, well, I've never accomplished anything. Yes, you have. Mm -hmm. You have a car license. You accomplished that. Did you, did you pass some classes in school? Uh, do you have a degree? Uh, did you have a successful marriage, at least for a period of time? Um, I'm seeing a joke coming out of his, I know his face. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, of course, all kinds of things flash through my mind. <laughs> What are the wisecracks that I would be making if someone else was, was, was saying these things? Uh, but I'm trying to I'm trying to keep a certain modicum. But we of, need humor, remember? It's well, one of the seven, seven principles. Um, and and if if you can even take some of your accomplishments, take some of your failures, and and laugh at them. I mean, I've certainly had my failures, and everybody has. Uh, but I try to uh, I try to look at the at the at the upside of them. What did I learn? And um, Where's the laugh in it? Mm -hmm. um, and the last thing is in the group of seven skills is possibilities. Um, is it possible that we'll all get through this uh, on the other side uh, with a minimum of, of disruption or, in, or, or a minimum of, of pain or suffering, whatever you want to call it? Um, and if you can just realize that, yes, it's possible, you may not see. Uh, the steps to it, but if you can just understand, yes, it's possible, then you've got you've got that that asset going for you. So, and, and I package uh, the first seven skills, in, in, or will be packaged in its own uh, mini read uh, or short read on on Amazon, um, so that if a person is interested in having something that you can go down either to draw on individually. Or, like I do in the morning, is I go through all seven. And it takes 15, 20 minutes, uh -huh. and that gets me ready for the day. Or if I'm heading into a, into a down period, which I'm, which I'm famous for, uh, either depression or anxiety or sadness or loneliness, I, I go through them all. Uh, those seven uh, get me ready for the next part of the day or the next day or whatever. And, and, and you keep going back to the question, do I want to feel this way? So, Jim, on a personal note, what is your routine when you wake up in the morning? You, you literally walk through I, this list? I start coffee, uh, open the house up, and uh, I listen to car talk. Uh, it, it's a, you know, all the reruns from uh, uh, these two guys, I don't know if many people are familiar with it, but they were two guys that used to talk about automotive repair. They're very funny. And they, but they, they very often will talk about anything that a caller comes in with and uh, they just say some funny things and other times they just uh, they just start laughing and it gets me going if you can listen to a person with a great laugh that it, it, it's infectious so that that's what I start with and then I, I very often will go and say okay I don't feel so great right now why well so before, recognition. Before I even go into that, as I say, do I want to feel this way? Mm -hmm. And if I stop and I think, say, no, this feels like crap. I don't want to feel this way. I want to have a good day. Then I either start my seven skills, or I am able to very often go and draw on uh, this one or this one or this one, or the possibility is it possible I can feel better today. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's pretty much the that's pretty much the routine. It sounds like a really healthy routine. I think it, though, it it's works. really super important to just recognize, to stop, take a breath, and recognize that you have control over your own mind. And you can use these tools. It's about awareness, it's about mm -hmm. choices, and it's about action. And, and uh, I, I look at this crisis as, uh, I mean, first of all, I'm blessed. I'm in America, mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the safest places in the world. Um, we have the facilities out there. We have relatively full uh, grocery stores. Um, there are so many people that care. Uh, all the healthcare professionals, the people in the in the grocery stores, that are uh, leaving their homes and exposing themselves to all these people. They're out there working. So I'm I'm thankful for those people and and um, I'm, I'm grateful for them. And I'm aware of what they're doing, and I hope to be able to, to thank them in some way uh, when this is over. Um, but it's, um, I have the choice to dwell on, 
how bad things are. And I, I try to avoid as much as possible listening to the, the negative news right. where they interview this person and the tragedy that they're, they're going through and so on. I, I kind of shut that out and go on to the next blurb on NPR. What is the, what, what's the up part? The government is dealing with it. The uh, people are in the stores are are helping out. The doctors are they're drawing on the, uh, the the students in medical schools. They're drawing on them to come in and help. So there is a lot being done, um, and that's what you have to dwell on. And if I start getting a little bit nervous, say, okay, what can I do to to uh, again not escape from it or run away from it, but how can I deal with it and is there any issue that's coming up that might affect me? Like, am I going to run out of vegetables? Okay, get myself over to the store and pick up some vegetables. Uh, I'm learning how to, uh, not that I need to at this point, but I'm learning how to cook a lot of beans and rice recipes. <laughs> oh, that's healthy. Um, and I still have a tough time with the beans. I, I've soaked beans for four or five days and can't get them as soft as the ones that come out of the, jar, out of the cans. I've always said as long as I have a bottle of sriracha <laughs> sauce, I can eat cardboard, you know. As long as I have chocolate uh, and toilet paper, I'm, I'm good to go. Uh, so um, That was a fun, but you didn't realize you did it. No, it's... it's Just toilet paper is good to go. Okay, oh, oh, on I'm that... Sorry. Yes, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even notice it. Okay, that, on, on, that, on that note, um, <laughs> always a joke. Um, <laughs> so I'm thinking about, uh, do I have an extra lawn chair I can cut a hole in the bottom of? And But I'm on a water ban, so I, I don't know if I can do that with the sprinkler. <laughs> well, yeah, we haven't had much rain lately, so there's not much we can do as far as that goes. But uh, maybe it's time to start uh, collecting water for, uh, for <laughs> rainwater. Well, we know what we can do, and, and we can communicate with friends. You can um, send texts, and, yeah. and personally, I think it's awesome if you actually use your phone as it was originally made and have a voice conversation with at least two people today. Pick up your phone and call me, because um, we, we need that human connection, and text messaging, I don't think, is good enough, but that's my personal opinion. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We're in this together, and we'll get through it together. Yeah, and as you can see, I'm not used to being interviewed. Please, don't criticize yourself. <laughs> Consider that one of your successes. <laughs> it's something I'm working on. Hey, listen, it's isolate. Just like, just like all, the, all the times I get up on stage and, and I'm not comfortable doing it. He's done. Oh, so let me talk. I got two seconds here. Uh, <laughs> we have a virtual art share. We have a, something that we've been doing for two years over at the Leesburg Center for the Arts on the third Wednesday of every month. And it's in the evenings at 6.30. And we invite people to come and share their passions. It's an open mic, but it's expanded. We have the stage, the stage lights. We have an eight-foot uh, projection screen, so visual artists, show presentations. Now, Jim has shown a mural uh, project he was working on by using that venue. He has uh, talked about some of his writings. He has uh, definitely played the bass uh, and uh, always with some humor in it. And uh, I've, 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 I've presented I've, my photography. I've tried some singing. Yeah, yes he has. Fortunately, people have short memories. <laughs> But well, I'm, we I'm working on it. It's, we can't meet in public right now in that venue, so I set up a page this week called uh, Art Share Virtual Creative Showcase. It's a page, it's a group. If you've received an invitation from me, from the Leesburg Center for the Arts, please join it. And the idea is that we are uh, having everyone that wants to post a five to ten minute video link so if you have something on YouTube or on Vimeo or on your Facebook account that's marked public, uh, we invite you to post it as if you were giving a presentation at the center. And then we're going to have a watch party. So the next watch party will be the third Wednesday at 6.30. And uh, that will be April 15th at the time of this uh, recording. Ah, tax day. Not anymore. See, well, one of my stresses was I, I am a lister. Uh, I list everything. I check things off. Okay. I'm OCD, kind of. Everybody who knows me, they know what um, The extension went, is in July. So we don't have to get it done until oh, July. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Not that I pay taxes anyway, but that's. 
That's that's another. That's you know an, what? To that, air that. Jim. Oh wait, I said we should. Have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, let me rephrase that. I, I pay very little in taxes. <laughs> See, that's a positive. All right, we're leaving you on that note. And uh, look up. The sun is up. The moon is up. Keep your smiles up and laugh. Thank you.